Look at that. Now look at this geometrical design right here in this corner of this sculpture. That's not a structure, that's a sculpture. But none of those are structures, they're sculptures. Look at that. Check it out. Unless you enlarge the image, you will never see that, that pattern perfect. And it's only in that specific place. Look at that, right there. See all the squares right here? So perfect, man, like that. Look at that. Check it out. They damage the image so bad and blur the heck out of it. Now look at all this, the designs around it. Man, look at that boy. No wonder those astronauts looked traumatized when they came back, the first one, the Apollo 11 guys. They had a thousand miles there when they were in, in, talking to Nixon. They weren't even looking at him. They were just staring into the, their memories. Imagine if you look at something like that, you have to wonder, I mean, a lot. Just look at that, man, and you were sitting, standing right there where all this deal is. A very ominous place to be. Look at this image. I mean, look at that, what I just zoom in right there. Look at how incredible. Even after they blur the crap out of the image, you can still see all these tubes that goes through these cultures and continue and then divide and look, and they twist and turn and they continue. Look at that place right down here, like a some kind of a dome or something. Right there. Look at that. And it's so bright. Like I say, they damage the crap out of this image. They don't want nobody to see what's there. I mean, how can you say these are impact craters, man? You really have to be very retarded. These astrogeologists, oh, those are impact craters, really? Really? Oh, with all these sculptures and shit design? I don't think so. In fact, I know they're not because I've seen, I see what an impact crater looked like in none of these. 
looking, nothing like that at all. Look at that thing right there, raised. Picture, I enlarge it a thousand percent so it wouldn't blur. Now it's time to the hell. This is your Koski crater picture. But not like the panoramic view I have. Oh, Pegasus shit. Damn it. Gas picture. Here's the Tsiolkovsky, where Dr. Bergman say that that thing is an electromagnetic, the electromagnetic vehicle that brought the moon to its current. He must to know something we don't. So that's why he told John Lear. That's where the the the. That's the electromagnetic vehicle that tore the moon into its orbit. Oh, here's the picture. Look at that. Look at that, my goodness. Look at that sculpture or structure or both. My goodness. Well, people don't even realize that these are all the same design in enormous and tiny sizes in layers. Look at that, the layers. Incredible, man. Eh? Look, there's the, the geometry, look at that. The same, ta 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 ta, like that. The squares. The camera doesn't do justice to what I'm seeing. I mean, you can see that all of this was designed and perfect. And I mean, perfect. Look at that. See that? Pa, 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 pa. That way, this way. Then look, it continues throughout the entire surface. There's nothing there, it's just perfect, man. I can say only a guy could create something like that. There's no any freaking alien, anything. There's no alien chair involved here. Might be some entities there. But I, I don't know about, I mean, the moon itself is designed by a, a big time power. Look, there's a hand thing holding the, see, look. Finger, boom. There's 
the song. I mean, the precision that that is made with is, is, is impossible that somebody could do that. Let you have and I mean the time that that was made effortlessly. That right there. That's the design all over the moon and in the entire solar system. That hand thing is is I can I can show you that. These are squares like that. Those are fingernails of a thumb or an index. As I hand look, and it repeats right here. You can see it right there. Repeats and repeats. Repeats. There's another one here. And, and it keeps, I mean, it's so so intricate, it's just impossible for somebody, any freaking alien gonna be building something like that. And nevertheless, all over the entire solar system, every single planet, moon, asteroid, comet, anything that comes around here is because whatever is the creator, we call it God, or I guess it's God. It's under that control. Uh, it's a living system. And look, and it make faces. It look like a, a pair of eyes right here. Look at that, like that. That might not be the intention, but in reality, when you study the image, you see that that is none of that. It's just an illusion. Look. But it was, like I said, so complex. I wouldn't even attempt to try to do the outlines because it's just become a convoluted shit. These are all fingernails. Look, an enormous hand, and it become a bigger one and a smaller one, and it's just insane, man. Well, not insane, it's just incredible, really. You have to tip your hat to the hand, the designer. That's a symbol. People just don't want to go there. Oh, you're, you're tripping, you're religious shit. And you know, no, man, I have nothing to do with religion at all. It's only recognizing who is the man who designed this deal. And us, of course. Look at that. There's so much energy there that that thing is impossible to see what's the final shape inside that. Let's see if we darken the image enough. Nah. It was overexposed a lot. Look, the image is enormous. Unfortunately, they overexpose it, blurred it. I mean, they did every type of tampering method. Look at that. I mean, the kind of weird shit that is there is just, but I can tell you that the See, there's another hand right there. Look at the fingers and the fingernail. Look, and then he go. Each finger has a tiny hand wrapped on it. Tum, tum, tum. And he continue. Look, you can see the shape continue here. I mean, I can place. I can place my hand on it, and you will see that it just fit perfect. But then you see these faces. Look, look at that face. 